The SU Theta Tau engineering fraternity is suspended after a video surfaced of members making offensive comments. Good evening, I'm Connor Federico. And I'm Rebecca Castor. In an announcement today, Chancellor Severud said the university is immediately suspending the co-ed fraternity and that DPS is launching a formal investigation. Citrus TV reporter Connor White is in front of the Chancellor's house with more information on the contents of the alleged videos and information on a planned protest outside the house. Connor? <coughs> Guys, I'm here outside the Theta Tau uh, Syracuse chapter, which was suspended this morning after details emerged of videos with highly offensive content. Chancellor Kent Siverd sent an email to the SU community detailing what was in some of those videos. He says that the students were extremely racist, anti-Semitic, homophobic, sexist, and hostile to people with disabilities. Now, this is especially rare because the chancellor does not usually comment on fraternity suspensions. They are the fourth fraternity to be suspended this academic year after Sigma Alpha Mu was suspended last week for hazing. Now today there was an event at Hendricks Chapel which allowed members of the SU community to come and discuss. There were several Syracuse University leaders including SA President James Franco. He is calling for an audit of Greek life saying that Greek life needs to be overhauled going forward and more investigations need to be given. Um, DPS is also says that they are interviewing members of the fraternity that they say were in the video but cannot provide other comment right now. With regards to the video, it has not been officially released yet, but the Daily Orange claims that they do have it. They have released a transcript with an article as well. Uh, we'll let you know if, we're, if uh, this is officially released. Back to you guys. Thanks, Connor. And after the Chancellor's email, Hendricks Chapel held an open discussion to talk about the campus community. Chancellor Severud was in attendance, as well as DPS Chief Bobby Maldonado and Hendricks Dean Brian Conkel. The discussion steered in a number of different directions. Some students demanded that they wanted to see the Theta Tau video, while others spoke up about students of color not feeling comfortable on campus. Chancellor Severud said this will not be the last meeting they will hold about the issue. SA President and Vice President Alex Gufrasali and Kyle Rosenblum were also in attendance and spoke with Citrus TV after the event. They talked a lot about hearing student voices, but those student voices being understood and being followed up with and being honored. We also have a lot of programs on campus that address these issues, but they're reactionary. They're always resources after the fact, or they're programs after something happens, and we're addressing it after the fact, and that needs to stop. We need to have programs in place that are actively addressing these issues, and the programs we have now that are kind of doing that are just not adequate enough, and those need to be expanded on. They need to be more available to students, they need to be requirements for students, and that needs to happen now. And just recently, SA President James Franco sent out an email to the student body with a call to action. There will be a student-led discussion at 7 o'clock tonight in Hendricks Chapel. This is so more students can attend the event with no conflicts with class schedules. SA is strongly encouraging that students attend.